Ethnic diversity pertains to a characteristic of people sharing a common and distinctive culture, religion, or language. This type of diversity is important in the medical field because having physicians who share the same culture as their patients will help them identify with their patients better. There is currently an underrepresentation of Hispanic diversity in the medical field. When we take a look at the current state of diversity in medicine in this pie chart from the Association of American Medical Colleges, we see that the Hispanic population is the least represented in the medical field, only comprising of 5.5% of the population in 2008. When we compare this to the 2010 United States population, we see that the Hispanic population only takes up 16.3% of the total. The difference between the U.S. population and physician population workforce when it comes to Hispanic diversity is significant, and this could have unwanted effects on the Hispanic population in the United States. If this issue is not addressed, it could have bad implications for Hispanic patients. Barriers, such as language or cultural barriers, could hinder the physician-patient relationship by introducing an inadequate delivery of information, contributing to a loss of important cultural information, and poor patient satisfaction. This problem is especially important for minority patients since they are the ones that will become victim of certain ethnic barriers in the physician-patient relationship. Gender diversity is how different genders are represented in a relevant setting. Female applicants made up an average of only 24% of the total applicant pool during the years 2008 to 2014. Increasing gender diversity will raise medical companies' profits and offer equal opportunities for everyone. Hi, my name is Victoria Argumedo and I am an RWS student researcher here at UTEP. My partner and I believe that increasing gender diversity in the medical field will raise medical company profits, offer everyone equal opportunities, and increase higher rates of productivity in the healthcare setting. The more gender equal companies are, the, the, better, uh, the, the better it is for workers, the happier their labor force is, they have lower job turnover. Hello, my name is Jacob Hernandez and I'm an RWS student researcher at the University of Texas at El Paso. My area of expertise this semester was researching how to increase Hispanic diversity in the medical field. My partner and I believe that increasing both gender and ethnic diversity in medicine will help minority patients have a better relationship with their physician. Specifically, we believe this problem should be addressed from the ground up, starting with parents and teachers of K-12 students. For this documentary though, we will be focusing on increasing diversity in the medical field by discussing what medical school admissions committees can do to help increase diversity, as well as how financial aid committees can increase programs that will help students in underprivileged communities receive a higher education. We must see an increase in diversity as soon as possible because soon the Hispanic population in America will not be a minority much longer. When you look at the census projections for 2040, 2050, there will be no majority population. We will be a very diverse group of individuals. But the medical schools don't want it to happen. It's hmm. in the interest of patient care. Um, for this to be turned around and that's why they've been working on it so hard. I think their their heart is in the right place and they're doing I think everything they can but it's difficult to to push against years of lack of resources, educational um, rigor. Um, here in El Paso second language is a huge huge barrier mm -hmm. for the MCAT in particular and also though for writing personal statements they have some real you know, legs, and so um, it's it's a difficult thing to right. overcome. So if that trust isn't established, then it's harder to get follow through on the patient's part of what the physician needs them to do because they're only. The physician only has so much control, so it's going to give a much better outcome for health if you can establish the trust and the rapport so that patients will be more open and tell you more information and will follow up and, you know, believe that your advice is, is you know, the way to go.
We're trying to advance science, medicine, whatever that is. The more diverse we are as individuals achieving that goal, the better we are going to be at getting to that.